The Nipli smartphone market has seen the launch of two best mid-range gaming smartphones. The Poco F3 ZT and the Realme ZT Neo 2 both launched in the course of a few months simultaneously. Both of these phones are exceptionally good and both of these phones are priced in a similar way. Making this battle more interesting, let's compare their price, specs and special features. For me, both of these phones are winners when it comes to design and it totally depends upon you what kind of phone you want. If you want a phone with more of a gaming aesthetic, you need Poco, whereas Realme looks like more of an everyday phone for everyone. Poco comes with these popper trigger buttons which enhances the gaming qualities. Both of these phones are protected by Gorilla Glass 5 and talking about the looks of this phone, the Poco has a very distinctive RGB glow around the camera whereas the Realme has an under display fingerprint which makes the phone look more premium. When it comes to display, Realme clearly has an edge over the Poco since the viewing experience is more present in the Realme while watching photos, videos or playing games. All thanks to the premium Samsung EFO AMOLED display panel that has enhanced its quality. On the other hand, the Poco is equipped with the Tormo AMOLED display panel and it looks just okay in comparison to the Realme's. Both the phones are equipped with 120Hz FHD Plus display where the screen resolutions are 1080 into 2400 pixels. So, in terms of display, Realme proves itself to be the better one. The Realme again has a slight edge over the Poco when it comes to cameras. Both of these phones are capable of capturing extremely good images. However, the images captured from the Realme ZT Neo 2 look a bit more pleasing to the eyes in comparison with the Poco F3 ZT. Also, the details are crisper in Realme ZT Neo 2 as the colors are more punchy and vibrant. Similarly, the selfie on the Realme ZT Neo 2 looks much more sharp and detailed. Talking about the camera setup, both of these phones have a triple camera setup at the back. The Poco F3 ZT gets a primary 64 megapixel f1.7 aperture camera at the back that is followed by an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 2 megapixel macro camera. Similarly, the Realme ZT Neo 2 gets a 64 megapixel f1.8 aperture primary camera that is followed by an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 2 megapixel macro camera. So again, the Realme has an upper end over the Poco in terms of camera. The Poco F3 ZT is equipped with MediaTek's 1200 Dimensity 5G chipset built on 6 nanometer technology. Similarly, the Realme ZT Neo 2 is powered by a Snapdragon 875 5G chipset built on 7 nanometer technology. Therefore, talking about CPU, the Realme slightly excels and in terms of GPU, the Poco has slight upper end. And here are some benchmarks. Now, coming to the most hyped part of this phone. As both of these phones were promoted as gaming devices by their company, we performed a couple of tests. We charged both the phones at 100% and we cleared all the background apps. Then we played a few games. We played few games on both phones where we checked the temperature of the phone simultaneously. Where the initial temperature for Poco was 25.3 degrees Celsius and Realme was 20 degrees Celsius. The first game we tested on both the phones was Aspart 9. We played a round of asphalt on each phone which rose the temperature of Realme to 23.6 degrees Celsius and Poco to 27.4 degrees Celsius. Then we played a round of PUBG which again rose the temperature of Realme to 29.7 degrees Celsius and Poco to 31.2 degrees Celsius which we continued with the game of Call of Duty which ended up with the final temperature for both phones that is 30.3 degrees Celsius for Realme and 31.1 degrees Celsius for Poco. As both the phones were being marketed as gaming phones, Poco still manages to stand on the gaming grounds from its performance to aesthetics whereas Realme looks like more of an everyday phone for everyone. So for me, when it comes to performance and gaming, it's a tie. And it totally depends upon you what kind of phone you want. If you are searching for more of a game centric device, you need to go for the Poco as it manages the temperature efficiently. But if you want more of an everyday phone, you need to go for the Realme. Talking about the battery, Poco packs a 5065 mAh battery with a 67W fast charger, whereas the Realme has a 5000 mAh battery with a 65W fast charger. Therefore, when it comes to battery life and management, Realme is the winner. I can assure you, you won't be disappointed if you get any of these phones. However, you need to set your priority and get a phone according to that. If you're using any of these devices, please let us know what do you feel about these devices in the comment section and which one you find better personally. This is it for the video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media handles.